Good morning everyone, CDNet here with another small update to the video we did yesterday on Penguin Finance. Now, it's early in the morning here and I haven't had that much sleep because for me it was a little bit of a late night lunch and I uh, had to get the video out to get everyone uh, ready to farm PFI uh, as soon as it started. That's starting now but I've also had some questions of people saying they would like to know how to withdraw, how to claim and maybe also how to check their PFI balance. So I think this is a good moment to quickly run through some context contracts sorry guys i'm also sleepy but uh, let's do it let's start by just withdrawing now i did this yesterday and i'm not gonna pay the gas fees again but it's very easy to show you right so yesterday i checked um the balance off then after i deposited logically it was zero right yesterday i quickly tried to do withdraw and i withdrew one way and as you can see i now have 0 0.0000 etc uh way, uh, point 0.1 way in my um, of pgl in my wallet so how do you do that? You simply go to the contract and you go to write contract. This is the master chef contract, by the way. Go to write contract and at 12 withdraw, you fill in your pool ID. So if you're an AVEX Ethereum, that's one. You're going to fill in the in amount in way. Remember from yesterday that to know how much you actually have, you simply go to read contract. You go to user info and you're going to put your pool ID and your address. I'm going to query it. And this is the amount. If you would want to withdraw everything, this is the number you would want to withdraw. All right. So second, how to check your PFI? Well, you can see here, pending PFI. I'm going to check pool one, AFX Ethereum, and I'm going to check my user address. I'm going to query it. And you can see this is the amount of PFI I have pending. So how do I withdraw it? It's actually very simple. Any contract interaction will withdraw your PFI tokens. So I'm going to deposit into pool one. Zero way, which means I'm not depositing anything, but I am calling contract. Metamask, Metamask opens. I have to pay a little gas fee. Wait for the confirmation. And it should have succeeded. Let's check. I will open my MetaMask in a full screen. All right, so in my MetaMask, I should now see a small amount of P5. Right, here it is. So in case you cannot see it, you may need to add the contract for P5 to your MetaMask. In that case, you go all the way to the bottom. And you copy the uh, P5 contract address. You can find it in the uh, Word document. I copied it here. You just paste it. Uh, in custom tokens, apologies. It will automatically fill PFI decimals. Uh, I've already filled it, so I cannot do it, but uh, should work for you. A final step you could do is you could try and find the LP pool and supply some PFI for Avalanche and farm in the highest reward pool. So the way I do this is I go to the Penguin Analytics page. I copy paste once again the address, the token address for PFI. It's gonna find it in a moment. Uh, I think the logo and everything, you know, it will update as soon as a little bit of time passes. You go to add liquidity. And in my opinion, this screen always takes a bit long, but anyway, here it is. Now I have already supplied this but apparently I press stream instead of record so um, I do not currently have any PFI balance but if you had just press max whatever the equivalent in avalanche is approve it once it's approved uh, confirm it now in my case this was you know because the price is changing so much actually you need to click very quickly because if the price changes too much you're gonna get a different amount of liquidity tokens uh, you know whatever just uh, be aware that if you're struggling maybe that's the issue So once again, we can check uh, our balance to make sure that everything went right. We can check the balance of our address. In my case, uh, I can do it, but it will be entirely pointless because it will be zero. Because um, I already did it, but I streamed it, sorry. But this should work for you, right? And then afterwards, uh, once you've checked whether everything worked, whether you've got your uh, pool tokens, you're gonna go to write contracts. You're gonna allow 
the MasterChef contract is pended. Uh, it's in the documents. My Google has saved it. So um, value. I would once again copy that one with a whole bunch of zeros from the document. Once again in the comments, you write it, and that's how you approve the contract. Once that's approved, you're gonna copy the balance that you recovered uh, from here. In my case, zero, so I cannot do it for you. But luckily, my Google has saved the number that I did have originally. You're gonna deposit it into pool zero. Um, this is the amount you're gonna deposit in way. You're gonna write it, and congratulations, you're now writing. Uh, you're now providing liquidity for the AFX PFI tool. Once again, you can read the contract to make sure that everything went well. Simply go to user info, you're this time in pool zero, and your address is your MetaMask address. And you're gonna see you've got a little bit of pool tokens and you've got a little bit of PFI ready to claim. Guys, thanks. That's it. Um, that we showed you how to redraw from the pools. We show you. We showed you how to check your P5 balance, and we showed you how to claim and reinvest your P5 balance. Now, one more question. I know people have been asking about the four percent fee on withdrawals. That is currently, at least, planned to be. It's not live on the pool tokens, right? So do be aware of that on the total supply of pool tokens. Now I know that um, they are talking about it and they think there's a decent chance it may not get implemented in that way, but nothing settled yet. So if that's something you're worried about, you know, maybe hold out for a moment or maybe step in with a little bit less liquidity than you otherwise would. That said, I hope to see you around. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.